Welcome to Expanses TV and today we're looking at the latest flagship device from MWG called the Zinc 2. It's a pocket PC device that runs Windows Mobile 6.1. And just going into the box, you've got the device itself which we'll have a look at in a minute. And then just take off this um, quite intricate packaging. And underneath here, you'll find a power block charging from a wall adapter with looks like there's an EU, a UK plug in there as well, and also a US adapter in there as well. In this um, other compartment here, you've got uh, the battery, the stylus, the headset, and the mini USB cable. Just to prove that's the case, there's the headset. And the stylus looks like a retractable stylus. We've also got the battery. And a mini USB cable as well. And then in the last part of the packaging. You've got the quick start guide, user manual, Microsoft Outlook 2002 disk with Active Sync 4.5 and then a warranty statement as well. So, nicely presented user manual in full colour as well. And then you've got your Outlook disk which has also got Active Sync on as well. When you initially start the device up, a couple of CAD files pop up to uh, do some pre-configuration. I'm guessing that's going to take um, a minute or two to complete. Just looking on the back of the device, um, another plastic protective cover here. You've got a 2 megapixel camera on the back. And obviously the battery cover here as well. Let's just open and have a look at the keyboard. Keyboard's very nice. I've got to say the finish on here is, is really, really nice. Um, the keyboard is kind of a, a very flat touch keyboard, so um, the, the keys itself aren't actually raised, but you can feel um, the edges of the keys are actually slightly raised. Yeah, it's a very, very well finished, high quality device. The, the, the back has, has got kind of a, a rubberized tactile feel to it as well, which is becoming increasingly common on devices like this now. The other thing that impresses me about this device is uh, how thin it is really, and, and how compact it is, considering it has got a full quick keyboard on there. Um, and obviously this device is touchscreen as well. Um, so it seems like there's a lot of functionality packed in here by MWG. Just a quick overrun of um, some of the specifications while it's starting up. Um, obviously as we said before it's running Windows Mobile 6.1 Professional. It's got a 500 megahertz Samsung processor inside so it should be pretty quick. Um, also with 256 meg of flash ROM and 64 meg of RAM. Um, on the cellular data side it's got tri-band UMTS and it's also got quad-band GSM GPRS and it's also HSDPA enabled, HSDP enabled up to 3.6 megabits per second. Um, wireless connectivity apart from that also includes Bluetooth version 2 um, and also Wi-Fi 802.11b and g. Um, the screen itself is a 2.8 inch TFT QVGA screen. Um, it's also got a GPS receiver built in, which is Surfstar 3. And looking at the dimensions when it closed, is 109.5 millimeters by 59 millimeters by only 18 millimeters. So. Very compact, but a lot of functionality built into the device at the same time. 
Okay, let's have a quick look at the Zinc to Quick menu, which is down here. That gives you access to a, as I said earlier, simplified version of the menu, which you can access by basically brushing your thumb across to view different screens. So if I start off with this screen, we've got Windows Media Player, Pictures and Videos application, your camera and games. If I sweep my thumb across the screen, that takes me into a contact screen where I can start to basically insert different contacts from the contacts application. If I sweep it across again, space obviously for more contacts, sweep again and that gives me access to more applications. So in this one I've got access to my messaging, so it'll be SMS and email. I've got Internet Explorer, my wireless connectivity option, my calendar, my file manager, notes, calculator and then the settings of the device. Sweeping across again that takes me back to the initial screen with the four applications on again. And again just to access any of these you really don't need to use the stylus anymore at this point so if I want to go and click through to the camera that takes me directly through to the application. And if you can see anything on there Now closing the application takes you straight back into Windows Mobile Professional again, the standard version. So again, to get into your simplified interface, just click on there. And again, if you want to go in the other direction, just sweep your thumb across again. I'm just going to quickly type a, uh, a couple of words just to see how the, uh, how the keyboard reacts. So I'm just going to go into Word. Okay, and as with most Windows mobile devices like this, um, as soon as you open the keyboard it goes into landscape mode. So you can begin typing a message. So let's just try typing MWG space. The keyboard is very, very usable um, compared to some other keyboards that I've used before um, that are flat like this. They're normally quite unresponsive, but this really does have um, quite a good tactile feel to it when you are typing using your thumbs. Just taking a quick look around the device, on the front you've got an answer call and end call button. You've also got a navigational joypad on the front with a button in the middle. Looking on the side of the device, on this side you've got the power button and you've also got the camera button. At the bottom you've got a mini USB port which is used for syncing, charging and it's also used for the headset. Of course it's got Bluetooth on so you could alternatively use a Bluetooth headset. Then you've got a micro SD card slot on the slide. Um, you've got a button which gives you quick access to the Zinc 2 quick menu, which I'll just quickly show in action. Pressing it again gets rid of that quick menu again. Then it's got a volume up and volume down button on the side again, and a space for a lanyard. Just quickly comparing it in size to the iPhone, you can see there that the iPhone is just a bit taller. The Zinc 2 is a bit thicker than the than the iPhone, um, but also on the width side they're probably about the same width, very very close. So if you are looking for a brand new Windows mobile device or you're looking to change from a Blackberry or even an iPhone have a look at the MWG Zinc 2 on Expansus.com.